Welcome back. I'm Didi. And I'm Sandra. And this is The, the Blog. Blog. We're going to bring in our special guest. You guys might know her already from beautiful portraits that she does. She's going to tell us a little bit about herself, how she got started, where she got started from, and basically just walk us through everything. My name is Jodesha Baldwin. I'm the owner of He Has organization. It's called Everybody Has a Story. All right. Okay. Tell us um, what He Has mean. So pretty much is everybody has a story where I feel like no matter what your circumstance, what your situation is, you have a story, whether you're living or passed away. I kind of focus on the passed away right now okay. because not a lot of people get to tell their stories, whether they're living or passed away. Um, and once you pass away, you really can't tell your story. So I kind of come in and tell everybody stories. Okay. And how did you start doing this? Oh, <laughs> this is a funny story. I started about a three years ago, mm -hmm. um, back in 2021. It was just a Christmas gift for family and friends. Uh, we did it on small friends, me and my husband. We found about 25 people, uh, family and friends that we personally knew. Uh, we painted them out and gave them back home for Christmas um, as a Christmas gift. Uh, we just did it around Jacksonville for two years without recording uh, for people that we just knew, just mm -hmm. something to do to kind of help them out. Um, it didn't really take off until the people uh, from the Dollar Journal victims like, when they died. So that's when kind of everything kind of oh. took off. Mm -hmm. You painted them, you painted everyone, or it was three, right? It was three, yeah. yeah. I painted all three overnight the same day they passed away, and then I set them out at the memorial the very next day. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is nice. Mm -hmm. Question I, um, I have, I heard, I seen, on, um, I seen you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So it was, you say, um, welcome, what is it, go home or welcome home? How do you present it? Uh, taking them home. Taking them home, mm -hmm. okay. Where did that slogan come from? Bringing them home. Um, from the Dollar Journal victims. But it merely came from what we did three years ago. We wanted to take loved ones home. Like I said, we didn't have any money, so that was just the only idea we came up with. Um, that nearly came from my mom. Okay. That whole idea came from my mom because my mom was murdered on April Fools in 2005. Mm. Um, and I was nine years old, so I thought it was a joke. Mm. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize she was dead until I was about 13 years old, and I always had this vision of her coming home and saying that it was a joke. Um, oh, 13 years old, I realized she wasn't coming home. So it kind of crushed my dreams of her coming home. So I kind of bring everybody loved ones home instead. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice, that's nice Ooh, that's, that's tough. Just, yeah, that's right. Took me so we were sorry. <laughs> well, how old were you when you started painting? Uh, painting? Yeah. I just started painting. Really? really? Yeah, I'm not a painter. You draw? I draw. You draw. Okay. I draw okay. all day. Well, well how, how old were you when you started drawing? Nine years old. My mom Nine. Died. Okay. Yeah, he'll start, he started as a coping mechanism. Uh, I just did it just to kind of cope. I didn't really have any outlet. I'm not singing and I do other things, play sports, play basketball, but drawing has always been like the go-to thing. Um, I've done it for years. I have kids, so I teach my kids how to draw. We do arts and crafts and all, everything like that. But painting, I just started mm -hmm. last okay. year for the Dollar General victims. And I only did it because I didn't have enough Sharpie. <laughs> but it, I mean, it was a start of something great. Yeah, a start of something great. Yeah. So I just kind of got creative. I was like, Sharpie is not, it's not going to last. And I was like, I don't have time to sit here and color out a whole portrait. So I went to the store and got paint, and I started painting. Mm -hmm. So who idea was it, yours or your husband, to say, let's let's do these victims and take them home? Mine. Yours. I was okay. mad. You may, oh, about the situation where, no. yeah. what, what were mm -hmm. you? Um, and so when they passed away, if you guys know Little D, um, he was one of the victims that died. Mm -hmm. All right, he was the main victim that was announced. He was, he was the only victim that they actually identified at the time. Okay. All right, so when I found out about it, I was actually asleep. And I was an Uber driver. Mm -hmm. And so that Dollar Journal was a Dollar Journal I frequently visited because I lived down the street from it. Um, and then when it happened, I remember getting like 25 phone calls from family and friends trying to figure out where I was at. Um, by the time I woke up and I called them to verify where I was at, they was like, you know, it was just a shooting at the Dollar Journal. I had just went to the Dollar Journal the day before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I had just encountered AJ, but I didn't know at the time when everything found out. So I ended up going on Facebook, seeing all these posts, seeing everybody, 
you know, talking about it, and then I seen Little D. And so I'm like, okay, you know, where's the rest of the victims at? You know, nobody's talking about the other victims. And I called my homegirl, and I was like, hey, where are the other victims at? And she was like, nobody's talking about them. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. And so that's why I did my own research, because I, I did research. Right. And I went and I found their names. I ended up searching every social media site, Google, talk about the high school. Like you, I pulled everything together. And I ended up finding two pictures of AJ of a high school when he graduated. And then I ended up finding a picture of Angela Carr. Angela mm -hmm. Carr. And I ended up taking all three of their photos, sending it to my friend, and telling her to post it on Facebook so we could know who all three victims were. And I told her I was going to paint their portraits that night and spread it out so people could know who all three victims were. I did that based off of pure, I was pissed, I, know, I was like kind of upset and nobody was talking about all three, just one. Yeah. So I wanted all three to be seen because we all three died together. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. How, I mean, and, and when you gave it to their families, mm -hmm. I know that was, because that was your first, you know, so how was that experience? Nerve wrecking. <laughs> I bet. To this day, to this day. Yeah, even to this day. I'm an introvert, so I really don't go around people. I do interviews and stuff, don't get me wrong, but going up to these houses and meeting these people and talking to them, and you don't know what's going to happen. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Like today, I got cussed out almost, so it's like, oh, <laughs> but it wow. turned out, yeah, but it turned out good in the end. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it turned out good. Because the they was like, who are you? Are you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you Why he's recording. Yeah, so it's like, you don't know what to expect. For yeah. them, though, it was, I knew what to expect. Yeah. Okay. Um, for AJ, his grandmother, she was so sweet. So, like, very humble. She's so sweet. And she missed her grandson. The crazy part is he lived directly around the corner from the Dollar General. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was something, if he had the chance to run home, he could have. He could have, yeah. If he had the chance. Um, that was very sentimental. Um, Angela's family, I love that. Uh, I met her son and her brother, and I ended up taking her home. So that was a very good interaction. And then little D, I took him home to his family. I, every last one of the deliveries were humble. They all appreciated. It was nothing where they felt as though I was doing it for ill intentions. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was all, they accepted it. And so when they did, I kind of just kind of kept going with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. What was your hardest portrait? Oh. Recently or like in the past? In, in it. I can't do that. No. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, give us both. Yeah. One in the past and one in the one now. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kaylin, three-year-old girl that passed away a couple of months ago last year. Mm -hmm. um, she was three years old. She died with another individual. I believe two more individuals. Um, I found out about that on Facebook. And I did two kids back to back. So it was two kids. Kaylin was one of the kids I did back to back. Was one kid I did. That one was hard because she had just died. Um, I didn't know the family. I literally painted her portrait and posted on Facebook and asked somebody to get me in contact with her. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I did take her home, I mean, man. Yeah, they, yeah. they broke me. Yeah, they, they broke me. Can only imagine. Mm -hmm. yes. And then the recent one was <laughs> I delivered to a kid, a little boy. He actually went viral. Um, he cried. I had to turn around. Really? Um, yeah, I dropped the portrait off, and he didn't catch it at first. But then when he did, I, I immediately turned around. I couldn't even, like, stay and, like, look because he was crying so hard. Mm. They had to take him inside the house and hold him. So. You try to be in and out when you drop your pictures off? Not necessarily, no. Um, if I have a lot of deliveries, yeah. But I always take out time uh, to sit with the families. Okay. So, you know, I do two deliveries per hour. They give me 30 minutes with each family. Okay. So okay. even if they want to sit there and talk and we communicate, we interact, I get to know them, they get to know me, they have a 30 minute window. Mm -hmm. So I don't just try to drop it off and leave. Like, yeah. I yeah, I try to get to know people, get to know the families because I'm actually out here touching real people. Yeah. These are real people, these are not like fake, you know, you can't fake these feelings, you can't fake the emotions. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I try to sit with the families. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, no, you're fine. I was, um, I was actually looking like I would different times. I would go on there and look mm -hmm. at, you know, but after, you know, trying to do research and look at the videos that you were doing, I seen. Um, well, first I'm gonna talk about the little girl. I think I want to say it was her 
granddad or something that you took mm -hmm. home. She was at the party. Yeah. <laughs> and she recognized, she knew exactly who it was. Oh, I was so nervous about that one. Really? I was, I was telling my husband, I was like, listen, I really don't. I, I was like, I don't know if she's going to know who this no, is. No, yeah. Um, she's four years old. She knew. Um, but the one who requested it, she's done plenty of portraits through me before. So I've done plenty of portraits. I love her family. Uh, so when she asked me to do one for the four-year-old, I was like, oh. <laughs> and so right before we went up there, I was like, I don't think she's going to know this. So my husband's like, listen, you ain't got a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're here now. <laughs> yeah, right. So we went inside and then talked to her. And then when I brought the portrait back, she, that's the first thing she said. She's like, that's my granddaddy. And I was like, listen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I needed. She was four? She was four. Yeah, she was dancing. At, like, I think it was a party or something. Chucky yeah. Oh, okay. Four years. And listen, the first four-year-old I've ever delivered to. And she knew exactly, she knew exactly, who, exactly it was. who he was. Mm -hmm. So how do you find these people? <laughs> Um, the news and Facebook probably. How they find me. Okay, so people. Yeah, people find me. Um, I do portraits off the strength, actually. Mm -hmm. So people who pass away all the time in Jacksonville, that's kind of how everything kind of came about. I just paint people that passed away and I just take them home. Um, if it's somebody that I see across my timeline mm -hmm. and I see a lot of people sharing it, um, and I know for a fact that this person played a pivotal part in the community, whether they did or didn't, but I know if it hits my timeline way too much, I then put, paint that portrait and I take it to the family. Now trying to find the person, exactly. it's kind of like trying to find DC right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's has its ups and downs. Sometimes they're easy. Yeah. Sometimes I'm two months, a week. That's going to be delivered today. Yeah. Tonight. No. Really? Yeah, because I can't. I haven't found a way to get in contact. Go, just go. It's going to get delivered tonight. Yeah, just go. I've already tried to go, all right? I've already talked to the people up there, and they, they've explained to me that I can't just, it's a palette, mm -hmm. oh. so I can't go with the palette. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in order for me to go and mm -hmm. present it to him the way that I would normally do, I have to get access to it. That's yeah. Huge. Somebody That's will have to give me access to mm -hmm. just go back there long enough to give it to him. Um, but as far as standing outside the arena, I can't. <laughs> yeah, because they probably go through on the back anyway. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know him. Oh, he's he finna go see if he got some. Uh, oh, okay. Well, hopefully it gets. We're well, yeah, we gonna I claim it. It's gonna get delivered yeah, tonight. Yeah, like today, everybody's been asking me all day today. Have I gotten it to him? And honestly, I haven't been discouraged about it. I was like, listen, it's 24 hours of a day. <laughs> right. It's not over. It's yeah. not I, live, I live two minutes from the arena. Okay. It's going to happen. So yeah. I can get there if anybody was to call me and say, hey, he's here, he want to get it, I can make it happen. But, I mean, as far as me going up there and trying to just take it up there to the arena, how everybody's telling me to do it, I can't because they yeah. have rules and policies and stuff. So It's going to get delivered, though. Yeah. yeah. Whether yeah. today or any day, I know it's going to get to them. So I'm positive. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely going to get delivered. Now, the next video mm -hmm. I want to speak on, um, and I hope, I hope she she's watching um, my sister, my friend. <laughs> I just, I did a uh -huh. And I didn't even know. She didn't tell me. She tell me everything. Well, she didn't tell me this. <laughs> when I was looking on the videos, you delivered to my nephew in Valdosta. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> of course I remember him. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, Baby. I, uh-huh. That's I my was girl right there. I was like. I was like for her today, too. Today? Another one. Oh, and she can tell me about that either. Mm-hmm. Oh my well, goodness! Yeah, that right one there. there. <laughs> that one that was special because like me and Didi, we're cool. She's cool because I love her so much. We, we text all the time. Um, but her crazy tell self never gave me the actual address for the one that's supposed to be today. Oh, that also. <laughs> she gave me a pinpoint. <laughs> and, like I got Android, she got Apple. <laughs> I was like, listen, Don't come out. I made it all the way there. Wait a minute and now. Pinpoint dropped me off next to a graveyard. Oh. I called her. No. <laughs> I said, listen, I don't know where I'm at. She said, you next to a graveyard? And I was like, yeah. She's like, all right, I'm going to tell you where to go. And the whole time I'm on the phone with her, she's just talking mad crap about him. She's like, he got About his hair and stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, well, what are you talking about? And as soon as we pull up, I see him. And I was like, it wasn't even that bad. I stopped getting that mad too much. But I love it. He's very sweet, very humble. Very humble. Very. He's very nice. Take home for him. 
his um, grandmother. I believe his grandmother and um, somebody else. It was another. It was a gentleman too, I believe. I don't, I don't remember now, but I do know his grandma, her yeah. mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's very sweet, very humble. I gave him a couple of words of encouragement because I know how college it is. So hopefully that, I told him hopefully the portrait can help him get through college. And yeah. Give him some strength and some courage to kind of make it through. So, yeah, yeah. I know that one. That was a good delivery. Yeah. yeah. Do you do them all the same size? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're meant to be life size. Okay. So, like, I can do smaller portraits. I just prefer not to um, simply because it kind of takes away yeah. the life size. Of yeah. This, you know, it's kind of like you're mm -hmm. bringing them back in. Some of them are actually bigger than this. You got some who whole face kind of fill up the whole portrait. So when you're getting it, you know, it's like life size, kind of like that right there. Yeah. 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 But this here, yeah, this here is a glitter one. I don't normally do glitter. I like okay. it. Yeah, I don't, I don't do glitter. And I did this one live for uh, DC Young Fly. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, is this what, is this, it, it, it gaze, you have the gaze in it, it's the gaze for me. I've been staring at it since the day you brought them in. That's the thing. I'm talking about you got the chin, everything. Yeah. <laughs> right, the lips and everything. Yeah, I cartoon yeah. all the photos to make it easier for me to draw. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah. of people don't understand that, but a lot of these photos that I'm doing, they're cartoon versions of the actual person. So this one here, I actually got it confirmed by all of my <laughs> Facebook followers. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really? Didn't want, yeah. I didn't want to draw her out without confirming that it looked like her. Yeah. So and I didn't have anybody else to confirm it, so I just posted it on my Facebook and kind of let everybody confirm whether or not it looked like her. And this was the best one that came okay. back to look like her. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you did an amazing job. I mean, all of them. Thank you. Thank you. It's like work. Really? Yeah. It seemed like it, like you said, you delivered, how many things you did today? You say you did not today? I did like 10 today. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a Ooh. job. That's a clock in the clock. 10? 10? Ooh. 10 deliveries, yeah. I mean, that's just because I, I was sick and I didn't do any deliveries yesterday, so I had to pull them on until one day. Uh, I try to make sure that everybody could still get their portraits, um, despite how I'm feeling, but I try to make sure everybody could still get their portraits and get their loved ones home. And my portions are pretty treat cheap. Um, I really only charge for materials, like my mm -hmm. surprise portraits. So it's nothing but fifty dollars for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what's up. And that's good for that. Because mm -hmm. yeah, because I don't feel like bringing your loved one home should be an expensive thing. It make, it make, it definitely makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Definitely get delivered today. It's gonna get delivered. I'm so how, many, so how many would you say you do in a day? If you hey, yeah. Like as far as delivery or painting? Painting, yeah. Painting. Oh, That's I paint portion. up to painting. like 20 portraits. That's a, a lot. Day. They're not, it don't take them that long to paint. This here is a grayscale. This isn't even a black and white. This is here is my grayscale because her skin is gray. Um, this portrait here takes about 30 minutes. Mm. Okay. That's good. Okay. A black and white one. Without the grayscale, 15. Mm. Oh, okay. But I have kids. You know, yeah, and then yeah. I homeschool my kids. Um, and then I like, I have appointments and stuff, so I still have to take my appointments for my clients and stuff. So I can't paint all day. But when I do get the paint, I try to get them all out the way. Mm -hmm. I know you do um, out of town. Um, where's the father's you delivered? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, just now. I just left North Carolina. Oh, wow. Uh, and you you there. took Sarah back. I was... You took time out for us. Thank you for that. Oh, no problem. Yeah, yeah we definitely appreciate you I coming. I think I went to Savannah the day before. Then I came back, and I went to North Carolina the next day. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I try to do the states by day. I don't try to stay because I got kids. Yeah. Have you um, be any other like, celebrity status? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let, let us know. <laughs> okay. Can you yeah. Know? Okay. Yeah, they probably reach out, you know, privately. No, I can't. I've done celebrities, and I've done one for a celebrity, a very big celebrity. Um, I just don't talk about it because of what's to come. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we kind of left it where it was at, and when we touch base again, we'll pick it up and. Yeah. 
you know, but I kind of left it where it's at, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really get, I done one for Lily and Grace, Mama Todd. I just did one for Mama Todd. So, and I have to ship that one to her. Okay. So, mm -hmm. What was your, um, what, what portrait um, sent you viral? I know you're viral now, but what, what portrait did it for you? Uh, the one for the six-year-old boy. Okay. Yeah. Um, he had just passed away. I took him home to his mom. I was looking for her for two weeks. It took me two whole weeks to find her. Um, and I remember that was the caption on the video. It took me two weeks to finally find her. I took her home, took him home. Um, but that one got garnished over 700, almost a million views. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I had another one where the mom, I took her son home to her, and he looked like exactly like his mom, like a spitting image. I was like, that's crazy. That one garnished over 600,000 views. Mm. So it's just, it's a matter of how the reactions go. I can't really yeah. tell you which ones are going to go viral and which ones are not. But I have about a good five or six of them that's going viral. Especially when you had that music playing behind them and they, <laughs> I'm like, they crying. I'm, and I'm changing, I'm, I'm finding different songs. You know, I'll be trying to help people find me different songs and stuff. It's like so hard because you can't find many songs for people that passed away. Yeah. You know, and then sometimes I don't know who these people are to this certain individual, so you can't use every song. Yeah. So I try to switch it up depending on the person and depending on who they are to that person. Yeah. We would like to thank you for coming. Okay. Um, you know, we were scheduled for next week, so we mm -hmm. wanted to do this extravagant background because your birthday would have been the next day. Okay. Yeah. So we weren't able to do that, but we did get you some strawberries. Well, she, yes. she personally made them for you. you. And I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what? My toddler make it talk before I do. <laughs> oh, it is in the car. <laughs> oh, for Can real? You give it. We want to give thank something you. to you. Thank you. Fool? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, this one person, listen, this one person cooked me a whole meal. Listen, I was, I gave her a whole portrait. I was like, listen. <laughs> you want me to do another one? <laughs> look, look. Y'all cook too? <laughs> oh, for real. Oh, it got chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. I appreciate chocolate that, y'all. Listen, it's a simple thing. So happy early like birthday. Shardays. Thank you. <laughs> happy early mm -hmm. birthday. Guess how old I'm going to be. Tell, tell the people where they can find you. Oh, really quick, you can find me on Facebook at Jodacia Baldwin. I am verified as of today, you know. <laughs> uh, and you can also find me at, uh, at my email, ehas.organization21 at gmail.com. All right. Thank you. Wait, let's get this in the clip. No, get it in the clip. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's going on? What's up? Oh no! Oh my God! Oh, go no. by, You stand over there by it. Go do what you need to hey. do. Hey! 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 How you doing? I'm doing okay. Listen, my name's Jodacia. I have an organization called EHAS. It's called Everybody Has a Story. Right. And what I do is I go around and I find people that passed away. I paint them out and I bring them back home. All right. The city of Jacksonville requested for me to bring Jackie O back home to you, and I've been trying to find you for the longest to bring her home to you. So well, we'll, get it, we'll, we'll get it together. I'll get some information and we can send, we can send it to you, man. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. First on the block. I know that. Thank y'all for that. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 No, when he seen it, he was Irving. like, oh, you recorded that? Mandatory. Can you oh, send, send that, that to me, me? too? You <laughs> No, you did it. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 well, there you guys have it. She was able to get connected with DC Young Fly to give this beautiful portrait to him of Jackie Owen. Um, yeah, it's just, whew. I thought we just overwhelmed. Yeah, we overwhelmed. Okay. <laughs> First on the blog, you seen it. Um, it was just everything was beautiful and getting to know her and basically from the beginning to the end and, you know, bringing people home. That was the, that's the most important thing of anything get to bring someone home, a family member, you know, um, or whatnot. But overall, that was just, I think we just, we so tongue-tied yeah. because we just, a, a the beautiful witness thing. That, we was yeah. the witness that. And uh, right on her birthday, she got her gift and everything like that. So that was a beautiful a, thing. Yeah, amazing. It was amazing. Well, we're we going to end this one. Stay tuned for the next episode on The Vlog. Wow. <laughs>